Hey guys, so we're doing our first episode ever on Trade Lands today, and so we're going through a tutorial and such. I've never played this game, not really sure what to expect, but I heard a lot of you guys really recommended it to me for a long time. So let's go ahead and try it, because I love playing games that you guys recommend to me. Uh, so if you haven't already, make sure to leave a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to me. But let's go ahead and get started. I hope you really guys enjoy the series. So anyways, the tutorial... Blah. The tutorial says, welcome to Tree Lands. The tutorial will teach you the basics of the game. Click OK to begin. First, you'll learn to use basic tools. Uh, click the hotbar, press the number key, select the tool. Pickaxe. You can open your inventory anytime to see what we have by pressing G. Okay, so we have 100 doubloons, which is like money, I guess. Find a nearby rock and swing your pickaxe um, to begin mining. Keep mining until you have collected 5 iron. Okay, so uh, I see a rock over here. Click OK to continue. Alright, so we have to collect five iron. Looks like there's a... Uh, ooh, there's a big red arrow. Okay, there's a lot of rocks behind here. That's pretty cool. Alright. So, uh... When do we get iron? Okay, we have one iron. So it takes quite a bit to mine, it looks like. So, when you hear that little sound, that means you got a piece of iron, it sounds like. Okay, we got another piece of iron. I know acquired. It also pops up on the screen, it looks like. The, the GUIs in this game are pretty cool, although it does seem like that they do need this be scaled up in 4K. Stone tools are the only way to collect the most basic uh, materials. You'll want rare metals or woods craft to craft a better tool. Okay. Keep getting some more iron here. Alright. Craft a, bun a batch of round shot. So where do I do that at? <laughs> I think I... Ex okay, good. There's another arrow. So it looks like there's some people to talk to as well, but uh, this tutorial seems pretty cool. Alright. So we go over here. Iron. A round of... A, a batch of round shot. Show materials. Show cannons. Jeez, there's a lot of cannons. Holy smokes. 60... 68 pounder? Oh my god. Round shot. Craft. There we go. Good job. Locate the warehouse manager and click the W icon above his head. You can hold shift to sprint. Okay, that's cool. We have a little bit of stamina as well. All right. Open the warehouse menu. Warehouse manager. Okay, so you click his icon. Warehouse can be used to store items to prevent you from being overburdened. While overburdened, you will move slower. Items can be placed into the warehouse in order to use, uh, be used in shipbuilding. Close the warehouse and click the OK to continue. Make sure you can keep your cannonballs with you, though. Now it's time for your first ship. So we have this stuff with us. I also have some more money, too. So we don't have too much weight. All right, locate and speak to the ship, right? Um, <clears throat> I thought it was like it would be over there, but it's not. All right, let's go in and uh, talk to this guy. Man, we use stamina very quickly. All right, so ship, right? Here we go. Shipyard, build ship. Choose a ship from the left to preview it. The items required to craft it will be listed below. Keep in mind that all required materials will be in your warehouse. There's also a details button. After building a ship, locate and speak to the dock master. This is a goldfish. Pretty basic ship it looks like and this is a menow which one do we want i think i like the goldfish better is there like stats or anything to them okay goldfish type sloop personal transport hall strength yeah the goldfish is the goldfish is um slightly stronger might as well go with that uh Name your ship Big Granny. Let's go with that. All right, accept. Ship constructed. Okay, build a ship and speak to the dock master. Let's go ahead and uh, try to get out of here somehow. I'm not really sure how. <laughs> okay, I had to close it. But uh, so we built our first ship. I just looked at the stats and it's got slightly more health, so that's why I went with it. All right. Uh, I can't wait to experience the ships on this game. Dock masters are where you spawn and despawn your ships. Um, okay. Click OK to continue. Spawn ship. Oh, it's at full, full health. Sweet. Ships will be paired over time automatically for free. Okay. Next, you'll learn how to trade goods. Press OK to continue. Oh, wow. Dang. That's really cool. So, they are pretty realistic, I would have to say. They do stop instantly, though, which is kind of odd, but it's pretty cool. I'm guessing if we... um. Okay, so we can increase and decrease speed. So, I'm going to slowly try to... Dock it in there. There we go. So you can either go full speed or whatever you want to do. It's really hard to turn them because the rudder is like a, t a like a gradual type thing. I don't think we dam. I wonder if we can damage it if we collide hard enough. All right. At any merchant NPC, double click an item to purchase it. 
Oh, uh, buy one unit of cargo right now and close it to the trader menu. Let's buy some sugar. Double click an item to purchase it. Okay. Drop the crate by pressing B. Face the crate with your character and press B again to pick it back up. All ships are capable of cargo on their deck. Hold the crate above the deck of your ship. And press B to drop it and attach it to your ship. Press OK once the crate is on your ship. Cargo sells for more money when you take it farther from where you bought it. But for this tutorial, you'll need to travel to nearby Fenwick. To sell cargo, drop it on the black platform on the docks. Click OK to continue. You can use your map default slot 4 to help find Fredwick. You're currently at uh, this place. Okay. Let's go. I think we can go backwards. Can we go backwards? Oh no, can we not go backwards? I don't really think we can. Can we go reverse? No. How am I supposed to get out? I thought you were supposed to dock like- <laughs> No! <laughs> this is really bad, guys. I think we're gonna be able to get out of here. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna increase our speed. Um, so I think our location- Okay, it's telling me to go this way. Okay, cool. We got a cool little flag up there, too. It's really hard to turn this. You can also change camera if you want to. Uh, they just got this camera or you got the default one. Completely up to you. It's really cool how you can actually see the cargo on your ship and stuff. Um, I'm not really sure 100% where I'm supposed to be going. But uh, it says the arrow is pointing over here. So <clears throat> I guess we'll do that. Looks like the waters are pretty basic. Uh, obviously we're going full speed. We want to go full speed. Open ship editor. We probably don't want to open that right now. So, looks like nothing's going to happen until we get there. Hopefully with the later shifts that we get are going to be a faster speed and stuff. But I'm not 100% sure yet. But it's going to take a while. So, I'm going to go ahead and skip this part until we get to that island. Oh, cool. So, they have a skills and uh, level up system in here. So, that's pretty cool. We can also change our title. We can level up mining and crafting. And we also got inventory. So, we got some cannonballs. I don't think there's a turret on here necessarily though. But, um, you know, it's a little basic trading ship. Only holds one cargo though, which kind of sucks. But... Should be able to get some money from this. Um, we still have 40 money. I'm just going to call it money for now. Um, then we got some iron. We got some round shots. Cool. Alright. We also got a knife. And these items have durability. I didn't even notice that. They have durability. That's cool. So right here you can see a map of the place. Which is pretty cool. You have to zoom in all the way for it. But so we left Whitecrest and we're heading to Fenwick. So there's actually, this place is actually like really massive if you think about it. We travel all the way from that island over here just to reach here. That's that's pretty insane. So there's three port, Perth, and Verdantium, and Black Wind Cove, which I'm guessing is going to be pirates. So we'll see what happens beyond that. The movements on the ship are awesome. So um, drop the crate here to sell. Okay. Okay, we press B on it. Cool. Drop it there. Speak to Friendwick, Dockmaster, and res uh, despawn your ship. Despawn ship. There we go. Almost finished. All there's left to uh, learn is how to edit and fire. Edit a ship and fire cannons. You've been temporarily given a new ship to practice with. Spawn the ship now. Okay. Training ship. Ooh, this is much bigger, actually. Okay, cool. All right. Whoa. This thing is a lot bigger. You've been getting a cannon to uh, on place on your ship. To place the cannon, open your inventory and click on the cannon to where to place it. Okay. So, we got a six pounder cannon. Oh, so you can place it anywhere, it looks like. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to put it exactly, but. Oh, we go to ship editor, and then uh, you can put a cannon somewhere. None, add. Figure it must be equipped in hand. Empty cannon slot. Add. Gun must be placed in hand. Okay. Add. There we go. Finally did it. Max cannon size, three. Okay. Standard wheel. Sail colors, paint. Ooh, let's give it like a... Dull colors. Normal colors. Ooh, I like it. Alright. We don't want to be seen too easily. Vibrant colors. Oh, gosh. I think I like this dark red. Or, uh... That's still a little bit too bright in my opinion. I like this red right here. Add color. Oh, so you can add different colors. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait. Light stone gray. All right. Add color. Keep adding colors. Apply. Normal dye. Okay, we don't have any dye, so we can't do that. All right. Well, color doesn't really matter too much. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, head back. Close the ship editor. Okay, we need to slow down. I keep forgetting all the controls sometimes. All right. Turn. 
it, we should have probably came from the other side because this this thing like sticks out a whole bunch. All right, I think we should be good right here. All right. Nope. Oh oh, how do we get back up? Oh no. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, let's go on and despawn our ship. Anytime you can press E to view your character and skills information. Congratulations, you have completed the tutorial. Click OK to return to trade lands. Prepare to teleport. Let's go. It's like most people are in the kingdom, so let's go ahead and join them. All right. Oh, we got somebody with a fan shirt. Awesome. So we got some fans joining us. So there's a buried treasure fan or, uh, event going on. So welcome to the Caribbean, matey. Set sail and embark on an epic journey to conquer land and sea of a ruthless pirate. Untold riches, glory, and swashbuckling. Adventure await in Roblox's buried treasure event. Complete the missions below. Uh, and then, yeah, 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 yeah. Speak with a mysterious old captain. Find clues of ancient treasure. Speak of the bounty hunter on a new assignment for loot on another faction. Okay. So, uh, I don't think we have anything to start out with. So, we're going to have to go ahead and uh, get some resources. So, it seems like every time I pull out a tool, it automatically brings me in first person, which is kind of odd. Um, I'm not sure if I like that or not, but... Well, we'll see what happens. So we're just trying to get some iron right now so we can make some bullets and stuff and level up our mining. So, yeah. All right. So we got 10 iron, which makes uh, 8 weight. And we got a little bit of XP of mining. I'm wondering if I can make a better, like, pickaxe or something like that. But we'll see. All right. Um, so we got iron right here. Show weapons. Show tools. Pickaxe. So we need 7 iron and 5 oak. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll get something better because this thing is a piece of garbage. <laughs> All right, let's, and we're already wearing out the tool quite a bit. So let's go ahead and try to get some wood. I didn't realize this, but tools actually use stamina and it actually uses quite a bit. So uh, just re be reminded of that. So let's go ahead and let our stamina recharge for a second. I believe, okay, we need one more oak. So let's go ahead and grab it right now. I think wood is slightly faster to collect. I'm not exactly sure though. All right, we got five oak. and We also need oak to build a ship. So let's go ahead and s check this out. Look at all these people glitching up here. <laughs> Alright, pickaxe. Used for mining. Craft. Boom. Alright. So we have a pickaxe now. Um, iron pickaxe. Equip left hip. Cool. Alright. Let's test how much better this thing is. I'm not really 100% sure, but we'll find out, I guess. Alright, so let's try it out on these stones. I'm not why it, it always puts you in first person. It's a little weird. Alright. There we go. Seems like it's quicker. I'm not sure if it really mines better, though. Okay, we got another iron. I think it's a little faster, but I don't know. Maybe it's got better durability. It doesn't seem like it's that much better, though. All right, we got another piece of iron. But we'll just keep on trying that stuff. Oh, the pickaxe actually allows you to get silver from these rocks and other materials. We keep getting silver over and over again. So do the better... Do I always get silver from this, or do I get other resources, too? I guess we'll find out. Oh, we got iron. Yeah, so... Uh, this iron pickaxe will allow you to get uh, silver. Also, the durability is way better. I only, it's got 99 health left on it. That's that's pretty good. There's tons of people freaking out in the chat over me. Thank you to all the fans that joined me. And welcome to the first episode of Treyland. So, we're just going to keep getting iron and silver, which we have 12 iron now. Dang. So, we're just going to keep on mining for a while, trying to level up that skill. So, we have timber felling, crafting, and mining. Okay, so we got all kinds of skills to level up. Maybe uh, you get more stuff or you get better resources when you level up. But, yeah, we got a pickaxe right now. Maybe we can craft a better one. We'll have to check and see. But, yeah, we're getting some silver. Mostly iron, though. Got another piece of silver. Nice. But, yeah, I don't want to get too much stuff. Otherwise, we can become overcumbered. But, again, there's a warehouse right next to us. But, yeah, we're just going to gather resources for a while and keep on continuing with this. <laughs> Ooh, we just got a piece of coal, too. Not sure how rare that is. Alrighty, so next we're going to craft the axe. Let's go ahead and uh, get some more wood. we got plenty of iron to make it, but we just need some oak right now. So uh, I wonder if there's different types of trees you can uh, hit too. But uh, it looks like there's a prison over there. Do you guys see that? And some cannons too. Maybe uh, we can defend the port and stuff if there's like a pirate or something. I'm not really sure. But yeah, well, let's just uh, keep on just getting resources and continuing from there. Let's actually go check out what ships we can make. Because the tutorial was very limited on what you can do. This is obviously the full game, so... Got the event right there for parts of the Caribbean. All right. Got Carl Stark. We can build and scrap ships. Okay, so we got a goldfish, the minnow, and the titan. <laughs> it's got 1,000 health. <laughs> you need a paddle for it, though. What's the point of the minnow? Is it faster? 
Not really. It's just slightly different. It just has less health. Oh, okay. So it makes it slightly more dirt, or it's slightly more uh, maneuverable, but less health. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. Yo, I actually had to go BRB for a little bit too long. I apologize for this, guys. But uh, looks like there's a day and night cycle in this game. But uh, we'll rejoin sooner or later and continue this series as well. So don't forget to subscribe, leave some comments. Make sure to leave a big fat thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys and I love you so much. And uh, a lot of fans here and stuff. But yeah, this is a really cool game. Thank you so much for the people that recommended this to me and such like that. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. See you later and peace out. Have a good day slash night.